So this is an exciting day. We have a guitar we have been waiting for for two and a half years. It was ordered May 22nd, 2018. That's wild. That's wild. Yes. It's a 12 string hollow body one. And for that, um, also it's October. So uh, you, sir. it's beer time with an Oktoberfest. Oops. 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 Oh, geez. <laughs> it's going to smell like a fret house in here. Hey, don't forget one for Tom. Why does this opener suck so Dude, this much? is an Tom? embarrassing display. I know. This is the worst. Sorry, Internet. I'm definitely better at this. Of us Trust here, me. At, we know how to open the beer appropriately, <laughs> timely manner. Oh, my gosh. I don't, I don't yeah, even you know. Should do it like when I'm they open, questioning you know they open, if I know, you know how to use an opener a, you anymore. A ship, you smash <laughs> you it. You smash it on the guitar. Well, I wasn't going to say that, but. Oh, okay. Let's do it. All right. Well, cheers to uh, to uh, this two and a half year build. Cheers. Mm. <sighs> Crisp and refreshing. Okay. So this is actually a catalog model that not a lot of people know even exists. Um, it's a limited availability guitar, so they'll only build a couple of them a year. If a million people went out right now and ordered them from the catalog, they'd just say no. Um, Two and a half years, <clears throat> right? Yeah, I guess. I have no idea how many they actually make a year, but it's got to be only a couple because it took mm -hmm. two and a half years. Um, but this one is a 10 top, which you can see is absolutely gorgeous. You can see that chatoyance in there. That's your vocab word of the day. Um, the, light the light refraction. What was the word? Chatoyance. chatoyance. Wait, do you not know this yet? I'm not good at You've never heard the word English. chatoyance? Okay. Paul Miles taught me this. Chatoyance is used generally in uh, gemology, refers to the refraction of light in a gem. Okay. Well, when you have flame maple, the same thing's happening. That that crystallized, you know, that cellular structure in there is reflect, refracting the light. So it's referring to when you move the guitar in the light and you see it shimmer and move like 3D. Gotcha. That's called chatoyance. Is that what they do with diamonds when you go and check them? The mm. little... I don't know. I guess angle. so. I don't, anyways. <laughs> I'm We're going to make a I joke about New York City. On, I haven't been shopping for diamonds. I haven't been soon. shopping. I know. Okay. Oh, wait. I can't say that on video. He doesn't watch your videos. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh, dude. <laughs> that could be such an amazing disaster. I love it. Uh. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> uh. So, from the factory, this guitar gets gold hardware. It's the only PRS in the... Um, PRS lineup that actually comes from the factory with gold hardware, which I love. I know everyone hates it because it gets pitted or whatever if you don't wipe it down, but just wipe it down. Yeah, wipe, you, wipe and your instruments off, please. Your greasy yeah, your hands. Yeah, you got the greasy hands here. Um, so we definitely have to wipe this sucker down. Rude. Look, you already got some schmutz on the pickups there. Some what? Some schmutz. Hmm. Just want to make sure you got that. Mm -hmm. um, but this is not a piezo. Uh, they don't have a piezo system that can pick up both of the piezo. Um, Piezo. Thank you, Jay. I got you guys. That is a hand clap from everybody on the internet. <laughs> yeah. Cheers to Jay. Uh, piezo. There we go. There's no piezo there on here. Um, so you just got volume and tone. There's no coil taps either. Um, this is old school PRS style guitar. Um, and then, of course, since it's a hollow body one, there's no flame maple back. It's a one piece carved uh, mahogany body. There's a really cool grain line in here, too. Beautiful, yeah. Right in here, these couple. Um, but yeah, this is one piece, one huge chunk. Um, and since this is fully hollow, they take this guitar and they put it um, on the CNC and it gets carved from this side. And then it gets, this is the mahogany I'm saying, and then it gets carved from this side. So you end up with this gorgeous curved back and stuff. It's absolutely phenomenal. The only thing that's in here is a little block of wood below this yeah. bridge. Everything else is completely hollow, unlike uh, your traditional Gibson 335, which actually has a center block that goes down the center. Right. That's why these guitars resonate so much. And look at this wacky headstock. It looks insane. I love it. <laughs> I love how they just took it and just extended it. It looks yeah. like they went on Illustrator or like <laughs> stretch, Photoshop. The you know stretch what I mean? tool. Yeah, they just stretch it. And it's a whoop. It looks great. And there it is. But it looks good, though. And it weighs nothing. It, it does. It does not weigh much at all, and you're going to play it for us. Now, I have not heard this guitar plugged in. I've never actually seen one of these guitars in person. This is my first time even seeing one because they never exist anywhere. I was super excited to order this, and so I'm even more excited to hear it. Cool. Give us some chimey stuff. <laughs> So 
Sounds pretty great. That was all neck. Oh, that was only the Just neck. Just the too. neck. Let's go to the the mix. So that's neck and bridge. <laughs> I feel like on a 12, you got to have that bridge in there. Yes, obviously. It gives you that nice twang, and you can hear the, you know, the bridge pickup usually pick up some more, picks up more of that, like, mid rangey harmonic mm -hmm. type stuff. For a 12 which, string, it brings their life so exactly. quickly. So this is the bridge one. I want to hear more of that. What you did with when you were articulating the Lord. Sorry. <laughs> Tom says we can't play and talk at the same time. It's bad for the mic. Sorry, Tom. Sorry, sir. Okay, so what you did when you were just playing was really cool, actually. really showed off the guitar so well because you were articulating those bottom strings playing underneath your chord, and mm -hmm. you could hear them clear as day. Yeah. They sound. That's why I was like, whoa, they sound so defined. And so, but like they fit in the mix. It wasn't. Yeah, no, it's definitely. That was really cool. A very actually. modern feeling. Obviously, 12 string. Um, a lot of 12 strings, you play acoustics, you play some. Most of the time, they don't get that much love as an actual guitar. Or it's hard to find one that right. really sounds great. Like, they play great, um, but it's hard to translate, especially when you go full electric. And you're going through an amp. There's even some gain in there right now. So it's like, still comes to life, though. One more time. Can I? ask you one thing mm -hmm. which is how does it feel playability wise right because like a lot of 12 strings kind of suck to play because you um, can't play two strings at once it feels fine honestly it feels pretty straight out obviously you're going to feel a little bit more it's just like playing on like 12 gauge strings honestly right um we'll try to do some bends and see what happens <laughs> oh boy um okay can i ask you one more thing yes can we put gain on it yeah of course that's what i was here for <laughs> Um, we'll stay on the bridge for this one, too. Yeah, for sure. Just to kind of keep her in line. So it's the bridge again. But no, obviously it's a 12 string, right? I like how the bend, the distance, is like... Kind of cool, actually. I've never done that on a 12 string. I can't say I've ever heard someone do that on a 12 string. It's amazing. I'm happy we did it. <laughs> it's interesting. Um, this is a really cool guitar. I'm really stoked. I would love to do a special run of these. It would be really neat. I don't, don't know if PRS will let me. Um, but... No, there's no coil taps on nope. it. Yeah, We covered that earlier in the video if you were actually listening, Tom. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. um, he was too bu busy taking a picture of his beer back there. Yep. Um, yep. But this is a killer piece. It's a really cool thing. If you're a PRS guy, if you're a PRS collector, I almost guarantee you don't have one of these in your collection. Yeah, no. This is that thing that rounds out. I mean, if I, even if any of our guys locally here, if I show up to your house and you have a freaking 12-string hollow body too, I'm going to freak out and try mm -hmm. to buy it from you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Legitimately. Yeah. I want one of these for myself, and now I'm starting to think about it. Um, but I'm, I'm really stoked we have it after so long. Two and a half years, if you hadn't heard. this thing it really has the greatest 12 string sound I, I normally hate 12 strings I'll be honest like it's it's not a guitar I normally go after is this real right now this is actually earnest too this is not just for the internet it's not fabricated um, I'm so interested because yeah. you're such a picky jerk I know it's unfortunate but what were you saying off camera you started saying the thing about it is and you're doing some cool articulated whatever the heck um, no, the guitar fills out really nicely. I it, like I don't lose any low end. Like 
like we were saying, it, it has such a you're wide You're saying you don't range. lose a note. Right, I don't feel like the note gets swallowed by everything else. No. Um, like even when we were doing like some of the bigger, like more crunchy chords, we have stuff. There's a lot of notes going on in there. Yeah. That. You hear every one. And it really does sound almost like, obviously it's a 12 string, so you're gonna have like the octaves on the strings. It feels like it's going through an octave pedal a little bit. So as you were playing, I was thinking, how sweet would this sound with some like yeah. with a, like a big sky or like some really cool like ethereal mm -hmm. you know sounding stuff mm -hmm. would sound absolutely sick. Mm -hmm. And I think you have that pedal board back hey, hold there this too, real don't quick. you? Hold this real quick. <laughs> we have toys. Because I toys. feel like that would sound real good. Um, so we did add our good friend from Earthquake or Devices, the mm -hmm. Dispatcher. Which, Dispatch Master? Dispatch Master, sorry, yeah. You guys know, you guys all on the internet. We were about to get it. flamed for the comments know, if I you know. didn't do that right. Um, well, I'll take bad comments, I'm not scared. Um, <laughs> should we hear it? Be careful what you wish for. Yes, let's hear it. That's really, really neat. Mm -hmm. It almost sounds like you're playing like a clavichord or something. Yeah, you know? it does. Like I, feel like I, I play differently. I want to play like fake classical music. Play some more fake classical. Okay. I've never heard any classical that sounds like <laughs> no. that. <laughs> no, we, we, it's fake classical. <laughs> Not even close. But really interesting, when you, when you played way up high too, it just made these really full, mm -hmm. freaking gorgeous chords. We'll do a little more just for... Yeah, just, yeah, no, yeah. yeah Might as well try. The whole electric, yeah, right there. That's the money zone. Yeah, like the mids, you get like these weird so high harmonies that pop. Um, 100%. Once you get up here, it basically almost sounds back to standard ish guitar. Ish guitar? Ish guitar. Hey! Interesting about this too is like you never think to get a 12 string acoustic, which mm -hmm. is way more common, obviously, mm -hmm. and put like effects on it or delays or stuff like that. Right. Like maybe somebody does, but most people just play it and go for it. So it's so cool to think of a 12 string which isn't used that commonly, using some of these really cool effects that are around. And you have, you know, Dang. your high electronics here, so. High it's electronics? Not, it's not gonna be like that are you high, high quality, you know, high quality Oh, high quality, okay, okay. Um, so we were setting up for an acoustic video and we thought, well, dang, why don't we play this sucker acoustically for you so you can hear what it sounds like. Might as well. Not plugged in, because uh, we were messing with this off camera and I had some thoughts about it, so. Interestingly, interestingly enough, I've heard acoustics that probably aren't even as loud as that. It's got a little sound to it. It's not super loud. No. But it's surprisingly loud for being it'd be on a an really, electric guitar. It'd be a fun couch guitar, like just unplugged too. Also, this guitar, I don't know if it's just the specific pieces of wood or whatever, it's really pretty dark. It's mm -hmm. a, it's a yeah. dark sounding guitar. Overall, for sure. It is not super bright really at all. It's not bright. I wouldn't even put that word in the no, description of no. this guitar. It's dark, um, which is interesting to hear that through the amp too, you know, with the, the neck pickups really dark, the, the bridge pickup mm -hmm. really brightened up. So interesting to hear actually acoustically um, this instrument. Yeah, this is a great piece. I would also buy it sooner than later because if you don't, then someone else is going to buy it and then you're going to have to wait two and a half years. Yeah, that's a long time. Yeah, it's a long time. Um, yeah, well, cheers to you. We're gonna make another video. 
and uh, enjoy you your guys. October. Mm -hmm. See ya.